It was one month ago today that Governor Maura Healey declared a state of emergency in Massachusetts due to the migrant crisis. Since then, 1,000 families have come to Western Massachusetts to seek refuge. 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live from West Springfield. That's one of the communities providing emergency shelters for migrants. Yeah, tonight I spoke with West Springfield Mayor Will Reichelt about where the town currently stands amid this crisis. So we're sort of in limbo. Local leaders awaiting action from the state house. One month after a state of emergency in Massachusetts was declared over the migrant crisis. West Springfield is one of the communities taking in migrants who have been staying at the Clarion Hotel. We're not no more moving in, but no more really moving out. So we're kind of stable right now, but other communities are still facing other issues. That includes the town of Sutton in Worcester County, where at least 80 migrants were placed at a hotel over Labor Day weekend. But the town was never notified. State lawmakers pressing the Healy administration to provide more detailed information about the flow of migrants into their communities. The rooms that were contracted were contracted two weeks before anyone was dropped off. So if that's the case, why wasn't the town notified 10 days before? About 2,500 families are staying in hotels and motels in 80 communities around the state. According to the state, roughly 6,200 families are living in emergency shelters, and that's about 20,000 individuals. And besides hotels, the Healy administration has been urging landlords, churches, and private residents to open up their homes to help house migrants. Westfield State University also considered, but there's pushback from local state leaders who worry the college is not equipped. We're trying to solve one problem, the federal government's inability to pass immigration reform. And in doing so, we are potentially exacerbating another problem, the education of the students. And Governor Healy has activated up to 250 National Guard members to help those emergency shelters, and they'll be on the ground starting next week. Working for you tonight in West Springfield, Christina DeMores, 22 News.